pole vaulters. There was Bob Seagren of America, pole vaulter. There was our own Brian Hooper, pole vaulter, helped him to win titles. And there was Shell Isaacson, Sweden, pole vaulter. I was always very proud of the fact pole vaulters did well. I thought that sort of, and I was proud that I was a, doing one of the superstars and it was actually about being a pole vaulter. But if you're a pole vaulter, it means you've got to have strength to pull yourself off the pole. You need coordination, you need sort of uh, flexibility. You need, you need all the physical abilities, but the mental determination and belief that you are going to clear this tremendous height which no one's cleared before. And uh, not only that, you've got to do it on the end of a pole. Pole vaulters, by and large, tend to be people who are really well coordinated. And because it's such a, an involved skill, they can learn skills really well. When you're testing someone overall, and things like uh, rowing or canoeing and weightlifting, then pound for pound, your, your pole vaulters are going to be very good overall athletes. It was always interesting to see the way that different sportsmen approach the superstars. Both rugby union and rugby league, uh, the type of training you do would include sprinting, it would include power work, weight training, and lots of endurance work and agility work. Um, and so that because of the training for the game, you're therefore doing training that would be very, very suitable for um, a programme like superstars. By and large with rugby, uh, particularly rugby union, not so much rugby league. Rugby league, you need to be six foot two, brilliant ball handler, great runner, and a good tackler. So yeah, there's a similar sort of shape to them. Rugby union is slightly different because of the nature of the game. And you have the forwards who tend to be bigger, slower moving, you know, we can't walk in a straight line sort of thing, and uh, uh, without thinking about it. And then you have the backs, people like Keith and uh, Barry John, who sort of all have fantastic suntans. Little white shorts with little nicks and very well combed hair and, and they can do all sorts of things like they can play golf. Nicely out. The fact that it's a game that embraces lots of athletic type events within the game um, means that we're, we're sort of more rounded, we're not that specialist.